Dude, get... Oh my god, dude. Brush your teeth, please. Welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to set ourselves up a horde base. I have figured out uh, where we're going to do that. Um, so what I've basically done is uh, I, I started riding around town on the motorcycle uh, looking for a new POI. I decided I don't want to use our current um, horde base POI because that will become our fallback place if we actually die. Um, so I, di I didn't want to do something else in that same location. So that we're going to pretty much just leave the way that it is. Um, so yeah, when I was out and about, uh, we had a death's whisper event. And we got some pretty good stuff from that. The best thing that we got was this um, loot time mod. So this uh, is 20% uh, reduction. That's huge. And that's just a tier one, man. Goodness. I'm wondering what the, the top tier is. <laughs> so that's going to help quite a bit. Um, let's see. We also got this uh, charisma injection, uh, which is going to super come in handy. In fact, let's do that right now. And we got the... Um, the ammo thing. Oh, something that I started doing in the purge because somebody left me an excellent comment to this effect is that when you when it, when you open these, um, do nine millimeters. Even though we're shooting seven six two, because this will give us ninety um, brass or or ninety casings actually, whereas this only gives us fifty. And you know, sure, we we need more gunpowder and bullets, but that's e you know relatively easy compared to the brass. So. From now on, we're crafting these as nines, opening them up, and look at that, 90 cartridges or, or casings right there. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, let's take a look at where we are with Charisma. We're at 90, so this, sh this should actually get us to 100. Let's see. Huzzah! It did. Okay, nice. Um, I also went and bought myself a sexy T-Rex book with um, some the stuff I sold from the last episode. So let's read that. And um, that leaves us 510 coin. Okay, so I don't have any clay to make any more of that stuff. So let's just... What we could do here is we could start to make some... Uh, well, we could start making some high power or we could convert what we currently have. Um... I think we're going to convert what we currently have. So that would be this recipe here. So it takes a normal 762, just adds one bullet tip to it, and changes it into high power. Okay. And then obviously I've got to go do some lead mining, but again, um, not the priority right at the moment. Now, um, I have this extra oil shell that we looted. What do we need to make cement? We need limestone fragments, sand, and... That. So let's make some more cement. Not very much, but it's a little bit more. Um, and I currently have 473 concrete um, made up. And we're going to need more than that, too, but it's, it's kind of where we are at the moment. Okay. 
What does this need for repair? I think this is just an, uh, a normal repair kit, right? Yeah, okay. I might even have one of those um, back at the base. If not, we can make, make one. Because we're going to definitely want to repair our, our scythe. Especially before the Horde Knight starts. I am planning on setting this up to where I'm mostly going to melee on Horde Knight uh, 2. So that is the plan. Alright. Let's see. Do I have a repair kit? I have three repair kits. In fact, let's just take all of those with us. And I also want that extra gasoline too. Uh, Alright. I think we're... I think we're good to go for the moment. It's already noon, so we gotta scooch. Because we gotta clear the place first, and then we gotta build it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be busy. I was thinking about maybe even doing the clear off camera and just showing you guys the highlights, but I thought, nah, this is a tier three POI. Um it's gonna be a little bit more involved than just showing you a few highlights off camera, so that's why we're starting the episode now. So the POI that we're going to do our thing at is over here, and it is the Goblin O factory. And I've chosen this building because it's 5,000 hit points blocks, and it's a nice, straight, and tall building, and it'll be perfect for um, what I'm planning to do. Goblinos. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's just do this. We're not, obviously we're not doing it as a quest. We just need to, to clear it. So that was easy. Check the toilet. Seriously? Hey, Smiles, get back over here. Oh, God, I can't hit anything. There we go. Down with you. Oh, she fell out of the ceiling. Gotcha. Okay. Um, We're, we're not really... Uh, we're just looting this place. Uh, well, no, sorry. We're clearing the place. We'll loot it as we go, because it's going to get probably annihilated down here. Okay. Um, Are these not lootable? I guess not. Barrel. Check these shelves. I've never been in this POI. In fact, I've never seen this POI in my life. So it's brand new to me. Well, when I say I've never seen it, I've driven by it a couple times, but I've never... This is the first time I've actually stopped to to look at it. <laughs> yeah, that extra 20% looting faster is nice. Okay, this is... This is lootable. This is almost kind of like a... Savage country, man. Oh, sorry. Not trying to loot you, Smiles. Okay, oh, uh, there we go. Uh, wait. It's a little tricky to find the, the loot point. I guess it's the bar going across the top, eh? We'll pick these up. Or not. <laughs> I picked the counter up instead, uh, which is not really worth anything to speak of. All right, let's get the coin out or the dollars, dollar dollar bills out of here. And right about there. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. $339, make you holla. Um, I am going to wrench both of these only because I need some steel uh, for what we're doing. And uh, we'll get steel out of this. Let's do it. Won't take too long. Do you love Goblin O's? Yerp. <laughs> All right. That's kind of cool. 
I guess that's it for this main room, except for this. Okay, so we've got a warehouse back here. Doctor! Doctor by herself does not do anybody any good. Well, I guess she's not completely by herself. Got an egger here. Uh, oh, that's going to be cornmeal. Right. Oh, rebirth. Ammunition. A couple of dishwashers. Um, let's get the cornmeal because it could get destroyed otherwise. And there's even a leather satchel, or not satchel, but uh, trunk. Wow, holy shit. We got a quad. Nice, man. Um, all right. So where do we want to put that? I guess we could put it on the on the chest piece. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. And then um Okay, so you've got a double. You got the quad. You've got a triple. You've got a triple and a single. Okay, so that means we can't use this extra double. It's just the way it works. Nice medical. Shamway box. Um, yeah, we could we could actually stand to take this right now. Let's do it. We haven't even gotten off the ground floor in here yet, and we've already gotten a crap ton of loot. Good thing. Oh, uh, we can wait, actually. Let's wait. That was a really nice find. I have not found more than a, you know, probably I can count on one hand how many distilled waters I found in loot in the game. Those are pretty damn rare, so that was really good to find that. Uh, okay, so, yeah, there's stuff we could wrench and stuff we could pick up, but we really need to get cruising here. And I missed a Shamway box here. Two Shamway boxes. Uh, looks like I also missed this. Okay. Let's put all of this stuff in here, and while we're at it, let's grab... Uh, this stuff. Guess I already grabbed that dumpster earlier. Any zombies in here? Nope, looks good. Cardboard box. With just the basics, but that's okay. We'll take the basics. Let's load up the bike. Grab this stuff because we need the spoiled meat for our voodoo witchcraft stuff. We'll give him everything else. Uh, I'll keep the coffee with me though. And these. Let's lock those for now. All right, let's move on up to the next floor. So I, uh, let me tell you what my plan is. Um, if you if you guys ever watched my vanilla series, um, 
I used a, a, a tower with ladders for my first horde base, and it worked very well. So that's my plan for this too. And so we're going to use the side of this building for the for the ladders and then build the platform up at the top. Okay. Um, and one nice thing about this is we already have a searchlight that will light up the wall for us. And this is 5,000 hit point um, material. So it's a very strong building. So that's the plan, Stan. Okay, so I guess, uh, I guess we're going up. Let's go, Smiles. You and me, buddy. Those are both corpses. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we got like an office area here. There's like no zomb. Uh, no, there is a zomb over there. All right, let's go look over here too. There's a safe in there. I think I actually ended up inadvertently um selling. Okay, he's a buffer. He's got to go first. Selling my safe. Uh, you know the safe that we picked up in the last episode. So. Hopefully I'll try and remember not to do that this time. Are you... Oh, he's in some kind of a glass thingy. No shit. Hey, we're level 20. That's good and bad, because now we have an ascension. But... It's the way... Oh, look at that. Munitions box. There's some damn good loot in this place. Holy crap. We're only on the second floor, man. Wow. Okay. Take it. Um. Let's, let's go ahead and take the time to pick this stuff up that's worth selling just because we need money for the charismatic book. I'm not going to go batshit crazy with it, though. Uh, we definitely want this... This guy. For brass. And uh, we'll pick up the... Well, how much space is in these? Eh. You know what I think I would rather do is... I think I would rather um, wrench this for the steel. Tier 3 expertise. Shotguns and... Oh, Scythes, look at that. Hell yeah. We are now a level four witch doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Um, Shotguns. I like shotguns. Should we save that in case we decide to go with the bill? Is it the belter class? Or the thug? Is a thug class? Nah, you know what? We can We can worry about that later. Let's just keep scrapping this and work on our Witch Doctor. In fact, we have to get to level 8 in Witch Doctor before we can even think about doing another class. That's not to say we couldn't. If we, if you know, we could switch, but we don't, we don't get our Witch Doctor benefits. Well, you know what, though? Now that I think about that, we don't have... Hmm, I'm not sure how that works, because we don't have a class aura as a Witch Doctor. Okay, smiles. Those aren't lootable. Any chance that would give brass? A green porch light. Probably not. I'm going to say probably not. Server room and the way up to the next stairs let's pick these up for selling smiles don't let us get pinned down in here okay oh shit feral i'm stuck on something hopefully 
Hopefully she doesn't rebirth. Oh, she won't. Ramsey told me that if you see the option to loot them, they won't rebirth. And likewise, if you don't see the option <laughs> right, uh, to do it, then they will. Let's pick up these desks for selling. Um, and the computers. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but I, you know, I kind of got to think that if I don't, this stuff could all get destroyed. How much is that worth? 17. Yeah. Okay. So let's just do it. I mean, we still have all day tomorrow too. And this setup is not, um, it doesn't really take a whole lot in terms of, you know, building. Just got to do a bunch of ladders and make a platform and that sort of thing. So I don't think we'll be in trouble. Well, look at all the shit in here, man. Okay. Computer desk. How much does this sell for by itself? I've, I've checked it before, but I just don't remember. It sells for six. <sighs> nah. I think I'd rather loot it. Or, sorry, not loot it, but salvage it. And get the all the parts, because all of those parts together are probably worth more. Are definitely worth more than six. I mean, one mechanical part. What is one mechanical part? Yeah, see, that's worth seven. So the one mechanical part by itself is worth more than the entire fucking chair. If, you know, we were to sell it, right? So. Got to be economical about these things, man. While we're working on this shit, um, quick announcement for those of you who watch my Purge series also, in addition to this series, um, in the last episode of The Purge, I had mentioned that somebody had told me in the comments that you can find a purple pistol in a toilet, but it's super, super rare. And then I called that or referred to that as an epic because I used to play World of Warcraft a long time ago. I played original World of Warcraft. I mean, the very first, you know, original game. And it was the best of all of them, too, by the way. But that's another discussion. Um, and so, you know, I just got used to calling anything that's purple epic. Um, Ramsey misinterpreted. Well, it's not his fault. He, 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 he has a different definition of what epic means than I do. Put it that way. <laughs> so it was a semantics thing. Um, so when he told me, uh, um, shit, I was going to pick that up, but whatever. Um, when he told me that that isn't true, he thought I meant, you know, some kind of like legendary epic, you know, weapon that you can only find in not craft kind of thing. He didn't realize that I just meant a purple pistol. So he did tell me that it is possible to find a purple pistol in toilets in Rebirth. Um, I don't think it's, I, I still think it's an ultra rare thing, but it is a possibility. So I wanted to set that record straight. And of course, next time I do a Rebirth, or sorry, a Purge episode, I will, I'll do the same there. Okay. Um... I guess that's it. I don't believe projectors are worth anything. Let's pick it up just to check. I think I checked that once and it was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shit. Um, can we set it back down and wrench it? We can. Okay. Now we can get some value out of the thing. Hmm. What are these made out of? 5,000 hit, hit point concrete. Okay. They're probably needed for stability, so yeah, that's a thing. All right, we are done here. I don't know why I'm wrenching that. I mean, it is worth something, but we have more important things to worry about right now. Let's get moving, Smiles. Up to the next floor. Okay, let's get this ready with some black magic arrows. All right. Let's open this. Decent loot. Okay, smiles. Dude, now you do the same thing with fucking uh, hatches too, man. What is wrong with you? What is wrong for you, man? Okay. Uh, let's grab this. Ooh. Okay, that gets up onto the roof. And that door goes somewhere that's locked. 
Um, interesting. Okay. This is... Oh, God. What the actual... Okay, let's get one of these ready. Dude, get... Oh my god, dude. Brush your teeth, please. I, <laughs> this fucker's got me pinned down, man. There we go. Okay, here. Shoot her in the ass. Oh god, Feral. We can't turn him. Our friends will need to help us. Help us, friends. Alright, I'm gonna drink one of these. So we get the double damage. Alright, here. Be my friend. Help me out, man. Just be on my side, please. Oh, well, that door got open. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> my thingy needs repairs. Okay, that's what the doctor said to me last time I went into the office. Holy shit. Okay, here. Um, Let's repair this. And let's eat this. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> they broke out the glass there. That's funny. Okay, that was exciting. Um, are we done? Oh, should have searched him first. Get him, Smiles. Another tier three expertise book fragment. Man, the loot in this place is crazy. Uh, all right, let's open that. And that gives us nine. So this is arranged. Let's do a tacticals. This fucking uh, POI is a loot pinata, man. We haven't even gotten to the end of the place either. Smiles, you need to work on your uh, martial skills there, buddy. Okay, um, this looks like we have a concrete ladder we're going to have to take out there. Uh... Look at the air cons up here. Nice. I smell the brass. And here's the fat loot. This is like Christmas. So glad these are lootable, man. These are in vanilla and they're not lootable. And every time I run across one, I'm going, oh man, why in the hell is that not lootable? Where's my axe? Uh, Houston? Where's my axe? It's supposed to be in the, the S1 slot. Did I give it to you? Smiles, what the hell are you doing with my axe, man? In fact, here. You know, Smiles is a little bit unruly, I have to say. He doesn't behave very well. Oh. Look at that. Okay, well, that's almost over. So... So, can I do a normal swing? Yeah, okay. Let's just do gentle swings. Alright, we'll take that. Handy. Okay, sprain's over. And the locked chest. Oh, right there. Maybe back this way a little bit? Nope. Maybe more this way. Uh, 
Okay. Rogue gloves. Um, very good. Okay, so I am going to this this is where we're gonna set up our platform here. So I need to kind of think this through a little bit. But what needs to happen now is um I wanna um let, let's get all the air cons uh wrenched first, just so we get the brass from them. I don't want to forget to do that. There's a bunch of electronic stuff in there. Then I need to break ladders out down below so, you know, the zombies can't get up here, of course. And then I need to start building out um, the ladders and the platform. I'm going to go ahead and wrench this too, just because it's noisy as hell. And we will get a repairable generator, you know, just the normal one from doing so. Oh, nice and peace and quiet. Uh, whoops. Wrong thing. Nope, stop. There. Uh, please stop. <laughs> there, okay. I've got a macro <laughs> that... That'll continually, you know, hold the button down because I have problems with my hand and wrist and all that shit. So I had to turn it off. Uh, all right, let's see here. So I think the next thing we got to do is break out the stairs. So we have stairs down here and we also have stairs coming up here. Um, so I'm going to work on that next. And then after that, we'll... Uh, We'll do the next thing. Oh God, that's 10,000 hit points. That's steel ladder. Okay, well, let's start up the macro. Uh, let's put some tunes on and I'll see you guys in 10,000 years. All right guys, um, I'm back down in the, that first bathroom on the ground floor and I um, looked up and noticed that, you know, the Zom had dropped to the ceiling here and there's a, a weapons bag up here. So very cool. Okay. I've got all the ladders, um, busted out going up to the second and third floors. If I have time, I think I'm going to bust out these stairs here too. So the zombies can, can't get up to the second floor, but that's not a super high priority. Uh, because even if they do get up to the second floor, we're still, you know, we'll still be fine. So we need to get focusing on the next part of this uh, little project here. Um, so let's let's just get rid of these all together. Uh, how much are those worth, by the way? No sale price. Okay, so we will literally uh, get rid of them. In fact, we might as well do this instead. Get a little iron from them, right? Um, okay, so. Uh, what we're going to do here is, I think, all right, I think what we'll do is, so the light shines kind of over there. Maybe where this O is, maybe that'll be our central ladder. Maybe to the left of the O, um, because I'd like to keep that light there, so I don't want to get the zombies too close you know, to the, to the light in case they, they break it or something. So yeah. So I think this will be our first ladder. Now I'm going to put multiple ladders going up though, because you know, with this particular design, you want more than one ladder. So you have some redundancy. Cause if they, if you only have one ladder and they break that ladder, well then, you know, your horde break base is broken at that point. Okay. So, um, I'm going to need to make a whole bunch more blocks. to get this done and um, I'm going to need to farm up a bunch of cobblestone and oh man R right now we only have if we take a look in here yeah we can only upgrade 47 blocks in total with uh, to concrete so I think the hmm, I think the majority of this is going to have to be a cobblestone setup 
But what I think I'll do is we'll have we'll have the central ladder going up and be made out of concrete. And if I can even pull it off, I might even try and upgrade it to steel. Because, you know, we can buy um, the steel... Oh, you know, the shit that we, we need to make steel. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but we can buy that from um, Elias, right? And then have the side ladders may, be made out of cobble for, you know, for the redundancy. But we're going to also need the platform up on the top to be concrete. And a couple of those pieces also need to be steel. So I'm going to have to kind of figure out how that's going to work. And, you know, depending upon how much time we have to gather all the resources and all that sort of thing, too. So, um, why don't we do this? Why don't we, well, first of all, here, oh, uh, personal space. <laughs> Spells is going, dude, you got in my personal space. Uh, let's put all that shit up in there, and then we will do this. And that frees us up a little bit of room here, so we're not encumbered at least. I've got 41 blocks on, on me at the moment, so... Let's take half of those. Now, the other thing, too, is you want to be, I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe you want to be at least 11 blocks up in order to prevent the zombies from raging if they, you know, if they fall down. And the zombies are going to fall down from this design. It's kind of that's part of what it does is they push themselves off the ladder all the way back to the ground and then cycle back up again, right? Um, and I, I, I think, I mean, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're, we're at least 11 blocks up and even, you know, probably more like something like 15 to 18. So we're good in that respect. Let's change these to ladders. And it um, doesn't really matter what kind of ladders we use for this. Um, let's just go with the scaffolding ladders. That'll work. And we're going to start uh, building up the central ladder. You know what I think I'll do, though? Um, just in case we get a horde or something come in. Let's, let's keep the bottom two rungs off for now. So they can't actually climb up here while we're trying to build this. Okay, so that gets us up to the top. Um, Now... I guess the next question is, do I want this to go all the way up to the top? Or do I want it to go down a bit in case we have a breach? We could still escape to the top of the roof. Um, okay, so let's, let's reconsider this. Oh, smiles. You never cease to amaze me, brother. Um, okay, so if we're if we're this high up, here I'll tell you what. Here, let's do this. Let's pull these back up again. I'm making this up as I go, man. I mean, I know the overall design, but the 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 devil's in the details, right? Kind of thing. So, okay, let's just come off of this ladder. Okay, so that's three blocks up. Four. Five, six, seven. Uh, what the hell just happened? I don't know. I think they restacked into the normal blocks. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's eleven there. If we go twelve and thirteen, so we're kind of right at the, I guess, the eye of the goblin. That's 14, 15, 16, 17. I think we can go one more. One, two, three, four. And then there's still a four high wall after that. That if this platform gets breached, we could still get up to the top there without the zombies being able to get to us. That's the theory anyways. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to do. Um, one, two, th okay, so it's, actually it's three blocks high, but that's okay. Two blocks high, I would be concerned, but three blocks high, I mean, they can still climb up on each other's shoulders and shit and get up to three blocks high too, but if we have time, maybe we can take steps to deal with that too. Okay. 
Um. Yeah. Okay. I, I think we're going to go right to the top of the goblin eye. All right. Now, um, let's put these back here. And... We're going to put a block there. And we're going to put a block there. And we are going to need... What's pushing me? I don't know what it is with this mod, but shit pushes me all the time. <laughs> it's like, what What the hell, man? See, look, I'm being pushed. I'm not even moving. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, let's put a couple ladders there, too. I'm just trying to think about this now. Um, is it Smiles that's pushing us? Okay, let's go up to here. Yeah, we're going to want um, three more ladders here. Right. Okay, then what we're going to want is... trying to think about this for a second okay let's build this out I'm thinking maybe go out oh hi smiles don't push me off dude That'll probably be okay. Or do I want to go out one more? I think I want to go out one more. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now what we're going to do is um, we're going to widen this a little bit too, and then I'll I'll have some kind of a... Hmm. Yeah, I might I might have to extend this up a little higher too just to be on the safe side, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to get three blocks and we want to go into here. And we need, we're looking for like the slanted or the diagonal version of, excuse me, of the rails. So if we go to catwalks, I think it's this one here. Yeah, railing diagonal. I think that's the one we want. Okay, we have to take this and get at the right angle. Okay, and then what we want to do is we want to grab three more blocks. And we want those just to be straight up rails. Like that. You know what, though? Do we need that for this particular setup? Now that I'm looking at this, I think, I think we, I think we can go down one block with all of this. I think we're too high. Yeah. Okay. So let's pick this all back up. Now the reason I'm not real certain about this is because it's a little bit different than the setup I used in vanilla. Um, yeah, so let's redo this. Okay, so we need three diagonal blocks. 
And that was uh, these. And we're going to have to go back to advanced rotation. Right. Okay. Um... I think what we could actually do here <sighs> No, I I mean I'm not I'm not 100% sure how the zombies will behave if we don't build it the way that I know works for certainty, right? So so we're going to we're going to continue doing what Yeah, we're going to do this. But we are going to we can lower it down one though. Uh which is good because if we do have to retreat to the roof, if this is part here is breached, we're going to upgrade these rails here to steel because they're going to take the most damage. Um you know, we still have a 3 block and maybe even um might even make it a 4 block high wall to to get up to escape them. And then we'll have We'll have another row of ladders going down there, another row of ladders going down there, and if I have the time and the resources, I might even put some more ladders down just to build more redundancy, because zombies can move across ladders horizontally, in case you didn't know that, right? Okay, so now what we're going to do is, um, how many blocks do I have left? I only have 10 blocks left, so I'm, obviously I'm going to have to make more blocks, uh, but I'm going to want my platform out here to be a two wide so I have you know room to maneuver and can we do this yeah we'll we'll do that and then I'm gonna upgrade all of this to concrete this whole platform um and I'm gonna make myself a, a cage as well that will probably come off the top of there so that way you know we're protected against buzzards or vultures So basically envision what we have here, but with a row of rails or scaffold ladders or whatever, you know, whatever I use coming off of here to cover us, give us like a canopy and maybe even some sides to protect against buzzards. And then I'm also going to enclose this some more too. But then what we can do is when the zombies come up the ladder, we can just sit here and we can melee them like this. And it works really well because I've already done this design, like I said, in vanilla. This is all assuming that the zombies in Rebirth path the same way that they do in vanilla. I don't, I'm assuming that they do. Um, geez, if they don't, <laughs> that'll be interesting. <laughs> but I'm assuming that they do. That's probably not something Ramsey could even change if he wanted to. But I don't know that for sure. Maybe he can. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a programmer, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. So I think you guys have enough of the concept to understand what's going to happen here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I, I mean, it's day 21 already. So I'm going to spend several in-game hours, you know, mining resources to make cobblestone, um, to get everything upgraded and then upgrade as much as we can to concrete and steel and in hopes that we will be ready in time for Horde Night 21. If the shit hits the fan and this kills us somehow, then we will respawn back at the original Horde base location and, you know, just, just you know, uh, finish out the rest of the night there. So that that's my plan. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here because I've got a lot of work to do, and I don't anticipate bringing you back until... Um, Horde Night actually starts uh, in the next episode. All right. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.